Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And as you can see by the title, this is going to be the round of stuff that I picked up at my local gun shows. Now I want to start off by premising this by saying, uh, the area that I live in, I'm pretty fortunate that, you know, there's pretty much a gun show every other weekend within as little as 45 minutes to an hour drive of where I'm at. Now that's really cool because, you know, if uh, at the show, you have a lot of vendors together, so if you're into guns, knives, gears, and things like that, you know, you don't have to wait to order it online or, you know, wait till your shop gets it or whatnot. You can always go to the show. Now, I know a lot of guys aren't um, fortunate maybe in your area. If you live here in the U.S., um, you know, you know, might not know when the shows are or where they're at and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, this card right here. I actually picked this up from one of the vendors at the show, and it's really cool. This is actually a website. Uh, as you guys can see, it's called uh, gunshowdaddy.com. And basically what this does is it tells you all the gun shows in the you know specific area where you live, anywhere in the U.S. So you can actually go there. You choose your uh, your state. And, uh, you know, it'll tell you by state where the shows are, what time and stuff like that. And it's actually, um, you know, it, it'll show you on the, you know, like, let's say if you go today, it'll show you from today until, you know, like the end of the year and stuff like that. Now, what's cool is also you can actually submit. So if you know of a gun show in your area, maybe you live in a really small area and, uh, you know, you know of a show that maybe isn't on there, you can send them an email right here at ropecutter at yahoo.com or call them up and let them know, hey, listen, you know, I want you to update the website and, you know, for this show or whatnot. So that's really cool because I've gotten um, those PMs before, like, man, are you really lucky? I don't even know when the shows are in my area. So definitely check them out. And, you know, it's, it's, it's always a good handy tool for reference. Um, I'm really, I'm a big believer in, you know, when you go to the show, you try and, um, you know, help out the little guys, especially, you know, the private owners and stuff like that. So, um, you know, a lot of the times I end up picking up, you know, random things here and there. Uh, like you guys, I end up picking a lot of t-shirts. So, uh, I wanted to show you this t-shirt that I got. Uh, you've seen this design before. Uh, I got it at, uh, you know, a couple of months back at, a, at another show, I got it in the uh, Desert Tan. And, uh, you know, the vendor was at this show again, so I ended up picking it also. Uh, his name's Leo, really awesome guy, you know, he's uh, trying to get his business out, you know, up, you know, up and about, so, you know, I figured I'd give him a little bit more exposure, these shirts are awesome, I have three of these now, and they're really, really comfortable, let me tell you, so if you're into the t-shirts, and you know, obviously, gun rights, second amendments, and things like that, you know, these are awesome t-shirts, uh, this one's actually really cool, it's got a different saying on the back, um, I'll show you guys here, uh, so there you go, it's got a you know, saying by Thomas Paine, and uh, what's cool about it is that he's trying to get, you know, basically uh, founding fathers, sayings, and things like that, uh, I know the one I showed him the last time was actually one that he came up with, um, but if you're really into, you know, like history and stuff like that, this is really, really cool, so uh, check him out, uh, secondamendmentapparel.com, uh, I believe that's the website, don't quote me on that, but just, you know, you can Google it in uh, Second Amendment Apparel, and, uh, you know, definitely support him, you know, because, you, know, you know, it's a small business owner trying to, you know, get his business started, so why not? Uh, another thing that I picked up, which was really cool, is um, I've been actually uh, carrying my uh, everyday carry gun, which is the uh, SIG P238, and these Remora holsters, and they're awesome, I know you've seen a lot of reviews and stuff like that, um, let me go ahead and... Uh, and clear this just so you can see it's empty all right so um you know I, this uh remor holster is really versatile it's really nice and i've been seeing them a lot of the shows well if you guys don't know um one of the uh reps for remor for florida is uh you know our own shotgun shanny here on youtube she actually has her own youtube channel so if you want to check her out so i was talking to her and i told her you know i really like my holster um you know but it's you know, the gun doesn't fit all the way in there, as you guys can see. And if you guys follow another YouTuber here, um, the Yankee Marshall, he actually did a review on these. And he was saying that one of the things he didn't like about the holster was the fact that the, um, the safety is exposed. So you might actuate, you know, take it on or off the safety. So, um, you know, I started talking to her and she said, well, we actually came out with a, a new one. So um, this is it right here. This is pretty much the same exact uh, holster, but it's called, it's called the Sweat Shield. So basically what this does, and I'll show you guys here. Here's the uh, the one I had, all right, and then here's the new one. So as you put it in there, as you can see, you know, the um, the safety is completely covered. It comes up a lot higher, and actually the uh, the beaver tail right here, it you know 
it covers that too. So if you're worried about that poking into your stomach or into your back or anything like that, depending on how you carry, you know, this is um, obviously the choice for it. So I've been carrying this one for uh, for about a week now, and it's been working really, really nice. And again, this is um, for this model right here, which is the SIG P238. Um, it's the Series 2 and then SS for sweat shield. And obviously, you know, it'll fit all these other um, type of guns. So if you have any of those, these will fit really nice. Uh, and again, you know, these are uh, Remora holsters. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely check them out because they're, uh, you know, very, they're uh, very inexpensive, but it's a really, really good product. And it's uh, RemoraHolsters.com. And again, um, you know, it just, uh, it's kind of an added bonus that one of our own here on YouTube is actually a representative for them. So Shotgun Shani, check her out. You know, um, you know she's, re she's a really cool uh, YouTuber. Uh, here's another uh, company that I came across, and this is uh, AJI Machining. Um, this is actually, uh, you know, here in South Florida. And basically, this gentleman was at the show, and what he was doing is he was actually doing some machining work for, uh, you know, for guns and stuff like that, uh, mainly, um, uh, you know, like etching and stuff like that. So I just happened to have my gun with me. This is my Glock 23. And again, let me go ahead and clear that so you guys can see. So um, one of the things that he was doing is he was actually etching. If you guys know, in the back, uh, you can actually change that back plate on the Glocks. So he was actually etching those, whatever you wanted, whatever image you wanted, he was able to do. So let me show you what I went ahead and did. Obviously, as you guys know, I'm a big Oakley fan, so you know I had that done on my Glock. I think it came out really, really nice. Um, you know, obviously he does the, uh, you know, it's uh, it's etched in there, and then you know you just change out the stock one. And you put in the one that you want. So, um, you know, if, if, if you guys want to do something like that on, on, you know, any of your Glocks, you know, go ahead and contact them. You know, I think it was like $20 to do the etching, which is uh, it's pretty good. But again, you know, you just, uh, you're supporting, a, you know, a, a smaller business. So that's always nice. And then um, last two places that I actually show, uh, saw at the show, um, I went ahead and picked up some t-shirts. You know, I, you can never have too many t-shirts, especially to pro promote some companies and stuff like that. So uh, the first one is going to be right here. And if you guys haven't heard of these people yet, they are really, really cool. Um, this is Ammunition Depot. So as you guys can see, specializing in American-made self-defense ammunition. Uh, I'm not really, really versed on ammo prices, but, you know, from what I had seen, you know, based on, you know, I normally buy my ammo at Walmart and places like that, try and find the cheapest. Uh, these guys were very, very competitive. I mean, um, they were a lot cheaper than Walmart was, uh, you know, obviously in the same, you know, if you're comparing the same American-made ammunition, that Walmart would carry to these guys, they were a lot cheaper. So, um, and you know, I picked up this T-shirt from them, and I really, really love their slogan back here. Um, I just had to share it with you guys. Obviously, you see there, uh, when the you know what hits the fan, lead will be worth more than gold. Um, obviously, if that doesn't speak to uh, you know to all the preppers and uh, you know uh, zombie apocalypse warners out there, you know what else does? So I thought that was really cool. And again, that's uh, ammunitiondepot.com. And then last but not least, um, I've actually been checking these guys out for a while, and uh, you know I've been to their shop, and they are you know by far one of the nicest people I know out there. And basically, it's these guys right here. K&W Gunworks. Uh, it's actually a gun shop out of Delray Beach, Florida. I've been to the shop, uh, you know, quite a few times, and every time I go, it's always an awesome experience. Uh, they instantly treated me like family, so uh, you know, I obviously uh, I wanted to get their name out there as well. If you guys are looking for anything, any type of firearm, you know, rifles, anything, uh, I definitely recommend checking these guys out. You know, call them up, let them know, hey, look at, you know, I'm looking at this. What what can you do for me? And, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll be very, very competitive. So I picked up one of their T-shirts. And uh, obviously, as far as slogans go, uh, this one's just really, really cool. So obviously, you got your uh, your pinup girl there with their handgun. And it says, smoke them if you got them. You know, obviously, that's, uh, you know, really, really nice, um, you know, design on there. And I love wearing this T-shirt, you know, whenever I, I go out. And, you know, just, uh, like I said, to, to promote them and help them out and stuff like that. But... Um, you know, call him up, uh, Brandon, you know, he's a uh, main guy there. He's, he's really, really nice. Like I said, I was uh, actually hanging out with them yesterday. Uh, and you know, they have, uh, you know, nothing but fun on, on, you know, fun times at the shop. They actually have their own YouTube channel as well. So K&W Gunworks, you know, if you want to 
you know, look for them here on YouTube and uh, check out some of their videos and stuff like that. They have a really nice stocked um, uh, shop. So if you're, you know, it's not going to be one of these shops that's carrying like one or two pieces. You know, they have, I think he said, over 500 items always in stock as far as rifles, you know, shotguns, handguns, revolvers, anything like that. So definitely check them out. So uh, just to recap, uh, I just kind of throw some of these uh, these things out there so you guys can see them again. Uh, definitely check out, you know, if you can, you know, just to support them, you know, you don't have to buy anything, but if you want to shoot them an email or something like that, let them know, hey, you know what, I saw your stuff on, uh, on YouTube, you know, uh, what can you tell me and stuff like that. Uh, I'd love to find out, you know, that'd be really, really cool. Let me know if you guys have any questions, all right? Thanks.